Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? My name is Lynn and today I am going to make a gift card holder tag using some of the latest cat scrappiness Christmas release. And conveniently in one of the releases there is this gift card holder die set and it comes with um, this die which has um, the glue tabs that you can just fold in and I like to reinforce those score lines the die does put them in but it is nice to reinforce them especially if you are going to use the cat scrappiness pattern paper because it says paper but it's really a, a nice uh, lightweight cardstock and it does have a little bit of that glossy uh, shine and a little bit of that coating so it's rather it's a it's rather thick it's a really good quality and anytime I'm working with slightly thicker papers I do like to make sure I reinforce or double up those score lines so then I've also cut this tag using my We Are Memory Keepers All-in-One tool. It conveniently has this extra um, add-on here that allows you to cut that angled um, cut at the top edge of your tag. And what I'm going to do is actually, um, this is going to be a really sturdy tag because I'm actually doubling it up with some more pattern paper and then also some specialty cardstock. And so the, um, the tool I'm using also has, I, I think you saw it a moment ago, it has a punch where you can punch out the hole at the top there. I forgot when I glued on the second or the back piece, but I will go ahead and do that. And so it's really convenient. It's, it's a very nice handy tool. And I, there is a second die in the set that cuts out, um, if you wanted this to be a, f a full pocket with front and back, because there is a separate die that cuts out the front of the pocket if you want it to use what I'm using as the um, front here. But the second die actually has some really nice stitch line detailing. So that's why that would be really, really perfect for the front of your pocket. But um, rather than making a full pocket like that, I, I kind of feel like um, I could just glue those glue tabs directly onto my project. And use less cardstock that way. Um, but of course, if you want that really nice decorative edge, then um, then you may want to use that second die. And the other reason why you might want to use the second die also is if you wanted the slant, that angle at the top, if you want that slant instead of going um, from the upper left and then slanting downwards, uh, have that mirrored where it's starting from the top right and then it goes bottom left. Um, that would be another reason to use the second die that comes in the set because once you attach that and that becomes the front, then um, it will essentially kind of reverse this or mirror it. So it is nice and versatile in that way. And the uh, die set that I'm working with here is a really nice word die and what I love about it is that you get the sentiment but then you also get the bubble layer so you can do what I've done here and die cut those out of two different colors. And I didn't even separate my dies. What I did was just run it through the one time, uh, run both of them through the one time in white and then I ran both dies through a second time in red and you know, that way I can assemble two two um, sentiments <laughs> and so I may as well make two since um, it's easy enough to do and that way I don't have to actually detab my <laughs> my dies and so it is really nice to actually have the letters be separate 
and um, not connected because I feel like it's more versatile as a die set that way because let's say um, instead of your word running left to right, you wanted it to run top to bottom. So you could position the individual letters in, in a different way and uh, have that kind of suit your project. Maybe you want to um, have them be a little bit at sort of a jaunty angle and, um, and not be perfectly aligned. That would be an option too. Now, of course, your shadow layer isn't going to to work in those cases, but you still have that option. And the shadow layer is great when you need to kind of set your sentiment uh, apart from the background because maybe you have a really busy background. But if if it's like this tag, the specialty card sock that I'm using, it has some really nice texture, but it doesn't have a lot of um, busy colors. It doesn't have any colors. It's just a single color. So this, this would be a case where I could easily just use the individual letters and I wouldn't even really need the, um, shadow layer if I was putting the sentiment onto the green area. So that is one of the things I really like about having the word dies where the letters are separate. It does make it a little bit harder, to attach it to your bubble layer, but I feel like that's a compromise that I'm okay with because I always like to get as much out of my dies as possible. And so it's it's nice when you have those options and you have uh, that versatility. So here is the uh, winter foliage set, which is really great. You have a lot of different leaves, branches, um, uh, holly and berries and so really really fantastic set here you could build up a wreath if you wanted because some of those some of those branches and some of those leaves are, are kind of curved so I'm guessing you might be able to actually you know position these so that it can fill out an entire wreath but what I wanted to do was just use a couple of the holly leaves. You get them in two different sizes and same with the berries. You get those in two different sizes as well. And I wanted to just add that as an additional little accent to my sentiment here. And I'm using some 3D um, glue gel by Kalal because that gives the the leaves I did curve them a little bit and so um, by having the 3d glue gel behind there it'll support that curved element so it doesn't get um, you know flattened and once it it takes a while to dry you want to give it a good you know 24 hours but once it's dry it's really really strong so that is my gift card holder tag. It's a really fun way to um, spruce up your gift card a little bit. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post new videos to my channel. Thanks so much. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.